uh, I guess. Just give me your name, and then you guys can get rolling. Just let me know when you're ready. Good. My name's Ian Kesserich, and uh, this is my video walk around the CX-5. Thanks. Hey, Brooke. Hi. Hey, so this is the CX-5 that we were talking about earlier inside. I understand that uh, you basically came here based off the way it looks. Yeah. That's a testament to really the Kodo Solo Motion design that Mazda put on to all of their new products. Uh, it gives you body lines that show actually, um, kind of gives it a sense of energy without it actually moving. They actually did that to the rims too. The 19-inch rims have uh, two-tone, and they actually put the same type of lines in that to make it seem like it's uh, at motion uh, while, it's, while, it's at, while it's at a stop. Well, one thing that's pretty awesome about the new CX-5 is our uh, the amount of detail that we put into each car. It's it's really uh, obsessive, the amount of engineering that they put into the tiniest details of our car, um, one of which is actually the SkyActiv technology. Are you familiar with that? Not very much, no. Okay, so it actually touches four parts of the car. It touches the... Uh, engine transmission, um, body and frame, and also your uh, chassis as well. Uh, I know that safety is a big cause for concern for you because you've oh, got yeah. a seven-year-old son, and uh, it was for me as well when I bought my CX-5. I've got a three-year-old boy myself. Okay. Um, the actual body is made of ultra-high tensile steel, and what that does is it actually keeps you more intact when you get into uh, impacts. It actually also keeps the frame more rigid too to give you better handling and stability. The uh, transmission, really cool. They've actually uh, brought down uh, the, the uh, oh gosh. Okay, so you said we could restart? Keep going. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, it gives you actually six gears, gives you an extra gear, and it's more efficient than former years. So it gives you the responsiveness of more of like a sports car than a, a doll feeling. Also, uh, class leading fuel economy out of our Skyactiv technology engine. Um, it actually has a higher compression ratio give you better fuel economy, uh, especially on the highway, because I know that you do a long highway commute to and from work. Yes. Um, so yeah, one thing I did want to show you is actually the, on the interior as well. I know that you said that you and your husband uh, go camping and that uh, safety is a, a big cause for concern. So what I wanted to show you was, I know your, your boy's seven years old, and mine's three, so the child restraint seating, uh, you've got latches under here and around the back as well, so you can actually harness them in a little bit tighter. Yeah. On the back, one thing that we also enjoy is uh, we're actually able to park our car in the garage, close the door, and we're still able to open this up without having it hit the garage door. And what that is a testament to is we've actually pushed the hinge back a little bit further, so when the door swings open, it actually doesn't swing out too far. In the back, tons of space, and what's really cool is you can actually fold the seats forward just using these little latches so that you've got a 60-40 split, a 40-20-40 split, or just a 40 split. And what that allows for is you're going to be able to pack more of your belongings in the back. I actually can fit my 21-inch frame bike in the back of this and take off with my son at the side. Uh, and then you can see here on the back, that's where the uh, other latches for your safety seating. Yeah, for camping and all that, it'll be great. Yeah. So what is the gas mileage on something like this? Because I'm going to be driving... Well, it's class leading. It's going to be 33 on the highway. And since you do such a long commute, you're going to be seeing upwards of that. Another thing that's really cool is going to be our uh, advanced keyless entry. You've got your son in your hands, groceries in your hands, and you want to get into the car. You don't have to go digging through your pocket or your purse anymore. Mm -hmm. You can just walk up to the car and press the button on the side of the door to lock and unlock the car. Perfect. Take a look. You've got plush leather seating, red stitching. Go ahead and hop in there and check it out for yourself. I'll jump in the driver's seat. The wonderful thing about Mazda is really the way it drives. It's not about point A, point B. It's really about the drive between. Mm -hmm. and one thing I found out for myself, and I actually found out in the parking lot we're about to go to, is the car has dynamic stability control. So if you lose control of the car and it starts to slide, it'll actually use brake pressure to straighten the car back out. Wow. I pulled the e-brake and got the car sideways with my son in the back, <laughs> and we're having fun. And the car just <clears throat> and straightened back out. And what it did was it put the brake pressure on the interior brakes to keep me on my intended path without really taking away the control of me feeling like I've got control of the car. Mm -hmm. um, another thing that it has is it has um, brake force distribution. So if you are trying to slow the car down a little bit quicker, it will actually modulate the engine's... Um, or I'm sorry, the, the car's slipping, and it'll actually put the brake pressure on a little bit tighter for you so that you can come to a quicker stop. Yeah. Um, push the start button. Another thing that's really cool is we, this is the most technologically advanced interior cockpit that we've ever produced. And what it is, it's supposed to give you effortless um, uh, handling over the actual radio, the, um, 
your, your cell phone and all the other components that you're going to use while you're driving without having to pay attention to them too much. And one of them is going to be the command control center. While you're on your long commute, it's going to be so much easier for you to handle your radio and controls from here versus trying to focus on them up here. What Maz is trying to do is they're trying to create a little bit easier of a sensation when handling these types of uh, things while you're driving so that you're not focused on them so much that you take your eyes off the road. Uh, another thing too, you've got uh, automatic climate control so you could set that for you. Um, it'll be very simple for you to just hit whatever climate you want and not have to worry about it again. Yeah. Another part of safety that this car has that's pretty tremendous is actually it's got a um, smart city brake support. It actually has laser beams attached up here what? to detect the car in front of it. And what it'll do is it'll actually put the brakes closer to the rotors if it thinks it'll be in an impact and put the brakes on for itself if you get too close to another car. Wow. There's a lot going on with this car kind of behind the scenes. It actually reads the uh, temperature outside to tell you, or to tell the traction control system if it's going to have slippery conditions or not as well. Wow. Yeah, and if you look in the back, there's plenty of leg room. I know your son's going to just keep getting older and bigger, so oh, yeah. eventually he's going to take up a little bit more space, and you've got plenty of space back there for him. Um, Another thing that this car has that's going to be pretty cool for you, too, is on your long commute, it actually has radar cruise control. Do you know what that is? Yes, I think so. You think so? <laughs> so it uses, this, uh, it uses the technology uh, uh, up here to read the car in front of itself to determine if it should slow down or speed up according to the car in front of it. So while you're driving on the highway, you don't actually have to engage the pedal nearly as much. You can just set this, set a preset distance behind the car, and speed up and slow down according to the traffic wow. in front of you. Well, that's where so here, I'm going to go ahead and start the car. So the command control center that I talked to you about earlier is very simple to navigate. You can go seamless through your music, navigation, and your cell phone simply just by pressing a button down here. And you've also got a favorites button down here too to save your favorite radio stations. Oh, wow. You and your husband can link up your phones, and if you guys are on a long trip, like you're camping or something like that, you can play music through the stereo sound system and actually uh, switch back and forth between phones while you're at a stop. Hmm. Another thing that's cool that I really like about my CX-5 is I can plug my son's iPad straight into the USB port, charge it, and have it playing for him in the back, playing through the speakers while it's charging simultaneously. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah. And while you guys are camping, this car does come available with navigation, so if you guys ever want to find a point of interest that's near you, you can actually search up restaurants to find them uh, simply by scrolling over to the points of interest and searching up restaurants near you. Yeah. So you guys will never have to find a... <laughs> yeah, that's how my phone's dead, and I need something like that. Where... And, that and that's another yeah. thing, too, is you can plug your phone directly into the USB port and charge your charge phone, it. iPad, and anything else that you're wanting to. Yeah. Another safety feature that's pretty cool is your auto-dimming mirror. I know on long trips, especially at nighttime, bright lights in your eyes, very hard to see. This will actually auto-dim for you. And uh, same with your uh, driver's side mirror as well. And these are heated as well, so if you're in extreme conditions, like weather conditions... That will melt the ice right off of it. Oh, wow. Yeah. Does it fog up all no, the time? No, no, no. Yeah, cool. Um, this, this also has a few other features. Uh, blind spot monitoring, really cool feature. It's got a radar off the back of the car that actually fans out and determines if there's somebody in your blind spot and will alert you if you put your blinker on going on in that direction or if the car's just sitting there, a light indicator will pop on. Another, another uh, cool feature is it's got lane departure warning. So if you have a long commute late at night and you're tired, the car will actually use cameras to determine where the lines are hmm. to tell you if you're leaving your lane or not to beep at wow. you. Yeah. Another safety feature that's pretty cool is actually your um, adaptive front lighting system. When you turn the steering wheel, the headlights will actually turn up to 15 degrees to hit the corner before you get to it. Wow. So nighttime driving in my neighborhood is kind of scary because I've got a lot of little kids around there. Yeah. When I hit a turn, lights are on that area before you get to it. Yeah, that's awesome. Awesome. Um, some other things that are pretty cool for comfort as long as you're driving, uh, as long as you're on the road commuting, you do have um, heated seats as well as uh, uh, the three settings here, hot, medium, and off. Really, really just an outstanding performing car, and uh, we'll see that on the drive. Definitely. You ready to go for a drive? Of course. Let's do it. Awesome.